All right, everyone. Welcome back to Sulu Shop. All right, this is part two of Speedway Motors bolt in independent front suspension um, on a 1949 uh, Chevy classic truck. Um, using, you know, had all the original um, straight axle on it. Matter of fact, it's right there. Did have an upgrade to disc brakes, but uh, just a straight axle. So was one to upgrade the individual independent, excuse me, front suspension. There's all the parts, some of which um, I've taken off and such. Um, so the next step is step eight, because we have completed step seven, where it's, um, we bolted on all the bolts uh, to the cross member. So now it's asking or saying to remove the cross member and put this template on it. And then once we do that, uh, put that template on it, we're going to cut out some of the frame on each side and that's for the rack and pinion steering column. So here we go. All right, so here it is. The cross member has been removed for the instructions. Template installed by these two bolts here and here. Set up bolts and supposed to drill out the four holes as you see. And um, here I'll score that out and cut that out of the frame for the rack and pinion to go to the other side. These four holes that I just drilled are for the hat, if you will, and aligns like so. On to the other side. All right, so uh, got the templates off. The holes been drilled. The notches, you can see there, have been scored on each side. And what I did to make sure that they were in alignment with each other, I took a straight edge, actually it's a level, clamped them to each side of the two points of the uh, concave, cascade, whatever that is, the arch um, ends, so that I could score the bottom of the, uh, the frame as well. So I'm basically making the, the same marks on each side. You can see there I etched that. The other one is right there. And then again, over here, wherever it is, there it is. And right there. Okay, so here is the finished product on the, uh, let's see, passenger side. Yes, you'll see notches on each side. That's because I cut in a little bit when I shouldn't have, and well, I just try to make it look good. I'm not a fabricator by any stretch. This is what I did though. So if you'll see here, I etched them out, and then I just took a um, angle grinder and cut here, here, and here, and then I took um, just a grinding wheel and you know hollowed hollowed out the arch so that's the other side and here's this side okay so next step was done so what i did notch these guys out as you can see and the next step is to put these members in and when i was doing that it, it works now. Like so, it'll bolt in. But here, when I cut this out, this uh, radiator um, structure, this was still hooked in up to that bolt hole. So I had to grind it off, cut out that piece, because remember I'm keeping this here just for the integrity of squareness, and uh, 
So yeah, had to do that on both sides. Yeah, same thing here. I just had to cut it off. Uh, by the way, when you um, get done with the grinder, um, I grinded this, you know, these arches and such, just kind of square them off and such. I went ahead and, you know, grinded off all the the fuzz on the bolt holes that I drilled. So that's a kind of a good time to do that. Anyway, so that's what that looks like. On to the next step. So... I got the uh, frame box plates in, bolted on all four side. So, um, all four bolts are in. Had a little do, you know, some little prying here and there just to get them all lined up, but got them all in. It says to put them in, but not tighten them, so um, or tighten them fully. So I did that. Next step is to take. Let's see, that was, that was 10, 11, um, says to take these, um, inner plates, these inner, uh, boxing plates, and these two steps kind of go together from 11 and 12, but basically you're going to slide these posts in, tapping, um, your one inch bolts in there putting uh, the Loctites on them, if of course you're ready for that, uh, but not tighten them all, um, fully. So that's what I'm working on now. Okay, so as you can see there, I got the backing plate in on both sides. Let's see if I can get that in there. Yeah, there you go. But, Here's the deal. I'm having some issues with the holes lining up exactly. I got three on this side, three to deal with. I mean, they're close, but you know. And then on this side, I've got three, and you know, these are, these are off. So, I'm going to have to figure that out. Okay, two things. So, step number 11 here is don't give you a picture, so you got to figure it out. Um, but there's four holes on the bottom of the frame rail, okay? So, those four holes, there's two on each side. One is right there. And one is right, if I can find it there. And you can see them on the other side. It's the one down there sticking out. And there's one here that I'm still working on. So um, that's one thing for step 11 that really is kind of misleading a little bit. Um, not misleading, just didn't, it's not very clear. The other thing was why the bolt holes were not lining up that I said I had to deal with. See these here? You know, they're not, sorry about the light, they're not like flush. That is because when you put the backing plate in, let's get it in there. See how it's sitting, let's see if I can get some light in there. See how it's sitting on top of the the frame bracket, well, it's not supposed to do that. It's supposed to slide in between the frame and that frame bracket, the inner frame bracket. So basically where it's sitting on top of, it should slide down behind the actual bracket. Once you do that, I found on the other side, they line up perfectly. Just words of wisdom, learn it as I go. Okay, so here we go. We are, um, I went ahead and took the liberty of putting the top spring mounts on because it only takes the four bolts to do that. One, two, three, four. Same on the other side. It says to go ahead and just start them, but don't tighten them. One, two, 
and three, four. Um, make sure that these bolts, the four bolts on both sides, and these bolts are the one and a quarter inch length. It says that in the instructions. It's sometimes, you know, difficult to get them straight, but uh, one and a quarter inch bolts on these, not the one inch. So let me catch us up, catch us up on the instructions. All right, so we've already talked about 11, step 11, step 12. Um, again, using the one and a quarter inch bolts. Put the spring towers on with one and a quarter inch bolts. Make sure to put the, like it says here, spring towers are taller in the front and angled downward toward the rear. Okay, so front, you'll see how, well you can see it on the other one. So you see how it angles downward, okay? On the other side there. Okay. Uh, yep, okay, and then so, step 14, moving along, uh, we're getting there. Tighten all the bolts, it says, to 35 pound, uh, foot pounds. And also, 15, uh, step 15 is to drill these four tabs, these holes in the tabs. So, more drilling, lovely. That's not my fun, my fun uh, thing here, but this one and that one. And then those two over there. Should go fairly smoothly because you got leverage since you're on top of it. All right, so I'll get at that. All right, y'all, so cross member is installed. And she looks great. So I finally got, you know, this bolt in, the last two bolts, this bolt in. It ended up measuring one inch in from the frame and a three quarters of an inch from the, uh, the arch here. And so I just marked it out, scribed it underneath, drilled through um, with a uh, step drill bit, and came out clean on both sides. I can't, I can't complain. Um, went ahead and torqued those guys down. I also cleaned up the arch, you know, under here with the grinder. So now it's flush with the actual arch of the the box. Um, plate on both sides so there you go and again thanks again um, hopefully this helps I'm going to go ahead and continue to stall the rest of the suspension part so uh, like and subscribe um, we'd love to hear any feedback too positive I'm sure that there's probably better ways of doing what I've done but, uh, you know, like I said, I'm doing this on my own, by myself, first time I've ever done it. And I uh, haven't seen any other videos, you know, that go step by step amongst the, uh, the instructions. So I wanted to do that for those that are interested. Just to go back, the, uh, you know, we completed 13, completed 14 by um, uh, tightening all the bolts to 34. Five pound uh, foot pounds. Went ahead and used you know the drill to drill out the top of the uh, shock mounts here and there, there and there. And then 16 was where we were just at, which is that top bolt that I just showed you, and the underneath bolt that goes on that side of the arch. It says if you're using the optional thread adjuster, skip to 20 IEM and they are already installed they come installed with the top shock mounts as you see there so i didn't have to do anything but it does give you the instructions on how to install them um, and then it says just install all the other um, cross member uh, all the other suspension parts hey i uh, hope this helps um, again like subscribe uh, love to hear some feedback